D struggles, baby, and the struggles are real. All right, this is what I got going on. Water flooding in the basement. From the bathroom, all this water coming right out of here. <clears throat> yeah, that sucks. All right, so I'm gonna pull this toilet off, and hopefully we're gonna figure out what the going off. Well, I kind of did figure out already. I ran this little cable through the pipe in here under the sink right there and I came up with clay on it so that means my piping is rotted out under the floor oh yeah, not good so I'm gonna do a little further investigation I'm gonna pull the toilet off all right so it seems like my struggles never end the pipe is indeed collapsed under the ground or not collapsed but rotted away so yeah this is what i'm working with got the bowl pulled off over there in the corner it's got it sitting there now yeah i found out right here where this red pipe comes down into the floor right there is where the pipes rotted out and i'm coming up with clay so i started drawing some holes tomorrow i'm probably gonna rent uh the gas saw I already had run it once before to put a strip drain in outside. And because you, when you run it, you have to buy your own diamond blade to cut the concrete. So I already got the diamond blade. It's a good thing. I just have to rent the saw so I can cut the concrete. I was going to consider doing it with that little hammer drill I got, but that'll take me probably like two or three hours just to get through the floor and get the hole open with that or cut a bunch and then smash it with a, uh, a sludge hammer. I still might do that, but if I get the saw, this shit's four inches thick, so if I get the saw, I can make a nice pretty cut, and, and that's it. Well, till tomorrow. Bye. All right, I got the saw all set up. Remember, safety first. And uh, safety first and electric. than a quarter of a cut into anything and it trips the breaker.
three of the four sides of the hole I'm trying to make to just inspect to see what's going on under there. I know that's where the blockage part is, where I guess the pipe rotted. Um, so now I'm gonna try to smash it with a sledgehammer. Actually broke up pretty good. I'm gonna try to chisel the rest out with my tire iron. Oh yeah, she's moving. All right, so I'm gonna pull this shit out and we'll get back to you. Got all the concrete out the hall. All right, now I have to dig it, get down to the pipe. Get my shovel, but I'm pretty sure the pipe's only um, a couple inches deep. It's only got to be like three inches or less. Just got to grab my shovel. It's actually only like, yeah, two inches deep. Oh yeah, it's already hitting the broken spot. I finally got it dug up, got the pipe cracked open, and it was rotted out underneath, so I just smashed the top out with a sledgehammer. Boom. So, yeah, it's all sewage nasty shit. Yeah, so we're gonna take this here drain cleaning machine. I'm gonna run it through there and hopefully I can at least get it freed up enough to get the shit water to go down the pipe so way I can use my camera to inspect it. Got some shit splatter on the wall. See that? Whipping. That's what happens when you do drain cleaning work. You get the shit whip. All right, so grab my shovel. I got the hose running in that main line pipe in the ground, it's rotted. It seems like it was cleared because my cable went 50 foot out in that pipe from, uh, see where the garden hose is going? From right there right beyond that wall. And this is the main drain pipe in here. So it goes from there to under the floor and then out to the septic tank. So now we're gonna go dig the septic tank up and take a look. See if we can, uh, cause I installed the pipe a couple, a couple years ago I had the septic tank pumped out and I installed the pipe for inspection and service just in case. So we're gonna pop this open here. Oh geez. Red ants galore. They made a nest right on my septic tank cap. I don't know if you can see down there. There you go, it's a little hole. But yeah, I hear the water running in there. So 
I mean, she's working. All right, so great. So that means the pipe is free from where the damaged area is all the way to the the uh, to where it exits the house. But we're gonna run the camera in there anyway, just to do an inspection. And uh, yeah, oh, see what it's looking like. All right, so let's take a look at what's going on in my sewage pipe. All right, so there ain't really much to see in that pipe because apparently there is a back patch of some sort that is keeping it submerged and it's not draining down. So since the pipe was submerged, I ran the drain cleaning machine through it um, maybe I broke up debris and it's you know piled up in there so what I'm doing now is filling up this bucket of water and dumping a straight up five gallons of water down the pipe as I'm running the hose through it to help push along any debris that's still sitting in the pipe and hopefully that will get the pipe not to hold water and I can run the camera through to see how bad the pipe is the rest of the way out that's the plan I flushed the pipe out I'm gonna get here on run two. I got the camera in there, and it does look like I flushed it out somewhat because now I can actually see what's going on in there. So let's set you guys up. You guys get a nice look at what I'm doing here. All right, so let's run this some bitch out and see what the fuck is going on. Well, we know what's going on, but. Let's see the condition of the inside of the pipe, or well, at least as far as we can go before we get submerged again. Hopefully not, though. Oh, yeah, we're upside down. Oh, yeah. Nice. But there's a lot of buildup up at the top. See it narrowing, we're starting to look like an oval instead of a circle. That's all soap and grease built up on the sides of the pipe. And I'm sure the pipe is rotting. Yeah, you see all that yellow? That's soap and grease that builds up inside the pipe. Keep on going, keep on going. Well, I'm happy I was able to flush it out, and um, it seems to indeed not be pitched back, so that is great news. And it's also great that this is the only damaged spot in the pipe so far. Um, it's the one that we just went into. Oh yeah, now we made a turn. Where are we going now? at least 75 feet or more and it's going back to submerged so we're definitely outside of the house so that's a good thing the inside piping is good but I'm pretty sure my outside piping was underneath the driveway in the backyard that's not good at all but that's better than in the house I can tell you that much way better I'd rather cut up the driveway than the basement any day I can leave.
Well, that's it. That's what the inside of my sewage pipe looks like. <laughs> we go back to Home Depot, return the saw, and get some PVC and some fern coes and adapt it all back together with some PVC. And that should remedy my problem here. All right, that's it. Those four pieces should do me right. That's all I should need. All right, so this is what I'm working with here. I gotta smash this out. I gotta smash this out. I gotta shorten that. I'll probably cut this one because it's not under dirt where it's being supported when I smash. So let's do it. I got the, uh, I got it all shortened up and opened up more. What I did was actually, I just cut the top portion, like maybe half, the whole half top with a grinder on each side, and I smacked it with a hammer a few times, and they just cracked right off. And, uh, you know, they're not flush, no even, but guess what? Good enough. I got it all made up. My pipe repair for the rotted plumbing under the floor in the basement. So, this is what we're going to do. Pretty much, that's how it's gonna go. I just have to cut this measure in there, the distance between the two, plus where this lies. Probably just gonna trim a little extra on each side, just so it gets into the hole. Now I gotta situate it in like that. I just gotta mark the pipe on either side where it comes to, and then chop the little extra off. Got done cleaning up while putting the uh, equipment I was using away anyway. So here's the finished product. And that's it. Hopefully that works. Well, no, it should work. Hopefully I don't have any more problems with rotted pipes under the floor anytime soon. Alright, well, that's it for this one. Till next time.